Hello everyone and welcome back to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to animate a handwriting animation using Blender. There are two ways to do this and one way is very easy and another way is a little bit more complicated but it gives you a lot more control over uh, how it looks. Let's start out with the easy way and what we're going to do is go ahead and delete the default cube and then press shift A and add in some text. Now for the text, you're going to want to add in a cursive font of some kind. This will make it easier when you are simulating the handwriting. And for the text, I'm going to type in the word Blender just like that. To change the font, you can go over to the font settings over here or the text settings and open up the font section and then click on this little button right here. I will put a link in the description of a website of where you can get some free fonts. Once you have one that you like, you can go ahead and import that in. Once you have found the text that you like, you can go ahead and select it and then go open font. And here we can see what our text looks like. So now what we need to do is add in a curve and trace out how the text looks. So to do that, you can press shift A, go over to curve and then BZ or curve. Scale this down and then place it at the start of your text. In this case, it's up at the top on this B. And what I'll do is I'll go into edit mode by pressing tab and just start placing the curve in the text. So something like this should work perfectly fine. And then once you have that curve, you can press E to extrude and start adding in more uh, lines to it. So just keep doing this. You can select the handles, press G to move and place it exactly how you want. You can also scale up these vertices as you can see here and it stretches out the curve. And what you need to do is just start placing this and tracing out the text. So I'll select this curve right about there. looks pretty good. And on this part, what I'll do is I'll press E to extrude, rotate it around, and then place it going in this direction. So it comes down and then across and then goes up. And there we go. And I'll place it right about there. I'll select that handle and then move it down a little bit so we get more of that curve. Now for right here, what I'll do is I'll select that vertice once again, press E to extrude and extrude it down this way. And then we'll start rotating it to go into the L. So I'll rotate it like this, and then I'll press E to extrude and then move on to the L. So what you're gonna do is do that for the rest of the letters until you reach the end of the R. And there we go, we've finished out our curve and as we can see here, it's completely traced out. Now what we need to do is go over to the curve settings and I'm gonna set the render preview to 32 and then the render amount to 32 as well. If we open up the geometry, we can enable depth and this will give it some 3D effect as you can see here. And now the easy way to simulate handwriting is with the end bevel option here. If I drag this down, you can see it's closing uh, the end of that bevel and it's going all the way across the text. Now what you can do is animate this value. So for example, on frame one, I'm gonna hover over this and hit I, then go to frame 100, set this all the way up to one and then hit I one more time. If we play our animation, we can see what it looks like and it's simulating handwriting. This is the easy way to do it. There is a problem though, as you can see, if I zoom in here, this has a 3D effect to it. If we're gonna be using this on paper, it's gonna look like it's just sticking out of the paper and it won't look as good. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the advanced way to achieve this. To get started, we're gonna use this same text. I set the bevel back to zero, and then I'm gonna press Shift A and add in a mesh and a plane. I'm gonna move this into place, scale it up a little bit so our uh, text is right in the middle of our plane. We also don't need the text anymore, so I'm going to just hide it from the view. And then I'm gonna press Shift A and add in a cylinder. What we're gonna be doing is adding in a constraint to have this cylinder follow the curve, and then we will be using dynamic paint to actually write on the plane. I'm gonna scale this down even more to about the size of a pen, and then I'm gonna zoom in and place it right at the start. Next, what we need to do is go over to the constraints and add in a follow path option. For the target, go ahead and select that BZ or curve, 
And if we were to animate this, it would be 100 frames long to go all the way across. I want this animation to be a little bit longer, so what I'm going to do is select my curve, and then go over to the curve settings, and then scroll down to path animation. The frame option here controls how long the animation will be. I'm going to set this up to a value of 150. Now if we go back over to our cylinder and go over to the constraints tab, I'll zoom in and just place it right next to the curve. Click on animate path. And once we do this, we can restart the animation and play it. And as you can see, our cylinder is now moving across the text as you can see there. And it looks pretty good. Now that we have our animation done, we can go ahead and add in the dynamic paint. Go over to the physics tab and with the cylinder selected, I'll go dynamic paint and set the type over to brush and go add brush. For the paint color, you can use whatever you want. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna be using black. Next, select your plane, click dynamic paint and set the type to canvas and then go add canvas. The format, we're gonna be using an image sequence, so set it to image sequence. And then for the resolution, I'm gonna go with 1080. Since this animation is 150 frames long, we also need to set that there, and then the substeps. I'm gonna go up to a value of five because the cylinder is moving really fast. I don't want there to be any issues, so I'm gonna set that up to five. Scrolling down to the output section, we also need to set a folder of where we want our images to go to, so go ahead and click on this button here and navigate to a folder. Once you have your folder, just go ahead and click accept, and then select that UV map from the UV map option there. Make sure pre-multiply alpha is turned on so we can use transparency. Save your project and then go ahead and click on bake. The baking is now done and to actually view this we need to open up the node editor and import that image sequence. So go ahead and split the view, come up to this menu and click on shader editor and then press N to close it off and give it a new material. Press shift A, go over to texture and then image sequence and then navigate to where your images are, mine are right here. I'm going to press A to select everything and go import image sequence and place that here. Next, press shift A, we'll add in a color and then mix RGB, place that in the middle. Take the color output, plug it into the bottom input, then take the alpha and plug that into the top, then the color into the base color of the principled shader. From here, you can plug in a paper texture of some kind, you can place that in the top input of the mix shader and it will work perfectly fine. Over in the image sequence node, we can turn on auto refresh and this will enable us to preview our material uh, as we play our animation. So what I'll do is I'll select the curve right here, press H to hide, then I'll press Z and go into material view. And there we can see it in place. If we restart the animation and press play, we should see our animation working exactly how we want. And that looks pretty good. Now if we zoom in here, you'll notice it's completely flat and that is exactly how handwriting should be. There's no 3D effect like it was in the easier version of this. So there you go guys, that is how you create a handwriting animation in Blender. Now what you would need to do is open up this panel, turn on this camera icon and make sure the text is turned off so you don't see that. Also turn off the Bezier curve and the cylinder. Once you do that, you are now ready to render. The last thing that I'll show you in this tutorial is how to have separate letters. This is pretty easy. And for example, this B right here, when it comes down this way and comes up, I want it to stop here and then resume at the bottom of this L. To do that, we need to select the curve and go into edit mode. What we need to do is select this part of our curve and just drag this upwards. And you might notice though that this part comes up and so I'll select that vertice right there and make sure this is pointing downwards. So basically what happens is the cylinder will come around this way. Once it reaches this part, it will move up so it's not touching the plane and then it will start back down here. And as you can see there, that is how it works. And you can do this for every single letter. For example, if you don't want it to move from the bottom of this L to the top of this E, I can just select this vertice here and drag it upwards. So it will skip this part in between the L and the E and then resume at that part at that part on the L. So there you go guys, that is how you create a handwriting animation using Blender. Thank you for watching. If you created your own animation, I would love to see it. So make sure to send it to me over on Instagram at BlenderMadeEasy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. And I will see you in the next one.